सो नमस्ते गाइस इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो हाउ टू डू ए हीट सिंक सिमुलेशन इन सोल्ड वर्क सो बेसिकली वट आई एम गोइंग टू डू इज आई एम गोइंग टू मेक ए जोमेट्री इन माई हेयर एंड डू द सिमुलेशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू क्रिएट द जोमेट्री सो सो लेट्स क्रिएट अवर पार्ट सो हेयर वट आई एम बेसिकली डूइंग here i am making a circular chip of a diameter of 30 mm you can make a bigger if you want uh, it's up to you okay now uh, let's make it reverse direction and make it a little bigger so click on sketch edit sketch and make it 50 mm uh, to give you a better picture after that exit the sketch now click here click on new part select the new part click on the edit component now select the top plane of the sketch click on sketch press control plus 8 for normal skin to the view now here i am making the heat sink of my uh, chip so enter the diameter you can increase or decrease the diameter as per your requirement so let's say 55 mm diameter my heat sink is bigger than the chip uh, it is not necessary that you make Uh, heat sink bigger than the chip it is up to you that you want to make smaller or bigger okay so select the chip and reduce the thickness to 3 mm and click okay and select the top face click on sketch press control plus 8 for normal skin to the view after that what i am going to do is select the edge and click on convert entities now draw some draw rectangle uh, give it a thickness as per the requirement here i am giving a thickness of 2 mm and go to the linear pattern select uh, select this uh, move downward select entities to pattern select the edges of the rectangle now increase the number of instances so let's make it to 5 6 and the distance between these rectangle is 10 mm you can change the distance as per your requirement click okay after that click on trim entities and trim the necessary part make sure you do it correctly as uh, during a student you might face a problem if you don't do trim correctly now trim this as you can see that line is here so it is necessary because during extrusion i want these lines to be present here okay and distance is 2 mm now trim here also press control plus z click on trim entities and trim this and the last line here is this now go to extrusion click on extrude boss base uh make it extrusion up to 30 mm so this is basically our fin so exit the assembly edit mode now in the geometry so what we can do is go to the simulation tab if you don't see click on solid works adding click on solid works simulation now click on simulation tab now click here click on new study remember i am also going to show some mistakes that beginners do so make sure you watch the video carefully so, so click on parts right click on part click on chip material so basically i am assuming that my chip is basically made of copper so remember you can select the material as per your requirement here my main aim is just to show how to give material and how to do simulation correctly selecting material and other things is up to you okay and i am assuming that my fin is made of plain carbon steel after that what we can do is right click on connections click on contact set a question arise why i am selecting contact set contact set is basically used uh, in thermal 
for example you want to click on thermal resistance bounded and insulated insulated basically means that uh, if I select a particular area that is basically act as my insulation here I am selecting thermal resistance a question arises in your mind what is thermal resistance for example here you can see a copper chip and a plain, uh, plain carbon steel they are uh, the plain carbon steel is placed above the above my chip so when my heat is transferred to the plain carbon chip not all he heat is going to transfer properly because there is thermal resistance surface contact due to that some heat is going to lose so that is basically called thermal resistance if you still doesn't understand i highly recommend you that you read uh, books of heat transfer by Seigel to understand the concept because it is an engineering concept okay now select this here and right click on click on select other so that sorry select we don't oh, sorry delete contact set delete it right click on click on contact set thermal resistance so right click here click select other so as you can see i am selecting the top part of the chip so click on the chip and select the uh, bottom part of the fin okay and move downward select enter the value of thermal resistance so you can enter the value as per your requirement click ok now uh, go to the thermal loads click on heat power select the to uh, bottom phase enter the value of heat that you think is going to enter in your board uh, in the chip for example so i am assuming that during simulation that my chip is getting a 50 watt power so i am giving a value of 50 watt after that click on convection convection basically means that air is moving around so click on select all exposed faces and check the bottom part because heat is given at the bottom part okay enter the value of convection as per your requirement for example 15 watt per meter square kelvin remember i am going to do a mistake so that you will learn what kind of mistakes you, uh, normally beginners do so the result will go come uh, is going to be incorrect uh, i will tell you why the result is incorrect so run this study as you can see that my result is uh, result is just came out so click on result click on define thermal plots because currently the temperature is in kelvin and i am not comfortable with kelvin i am comfortable with celsius so click on celsius and here you can see that the temperature is minus a question arises how is possible that a temperature come in negative so basically what happened uh, during convection right click on convection click on edit definition so basically what happened that here you see the bulk ambient temperature bulk ambient temperature basically means that the uh, that it is occurring at a temperature where the room temperature is zero kelvin so you know that zero kelvin is a very temp uh, is a temperature that can't be achieved in real life but here I put uh, but here Solibus inbuilt take the bulk ambient temperature to 0 Kelvin so change this value to 300 Kelvin that is near about 27 degrees Celsius click OK after that click on run this study here you see now I got the temperature results so let's change the thermal plot again click on Celsius click OK but here I got the correct result this time so the bottom part is 19 degrees celsius and the topmost part is 15.062 uh, degrees celsius the reason that the temperature difference is just near about 4 degrees celsius is that the body is very small it is not a big body that is the reason that you don't see a wide uh, change in the gap so if you want to learn how to select a particular fin so that you will get a maximum optimization i highly recommend you that you check out the description link of my video that how to optimize this fin in SOLIDWORKS so that you get maximum heat dissipation from the fin and you will get the better result. I hope you like this video. If you have any doubts and queries, make sure you ask in comments. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.